For two decades, Julie Marie Hay has worked as a nurse. Now she's considering quitting. Everybody is stretched, everybody is tired, and we're just absolutely exhausted. To her, the solution is obvious. We need to have more nurses, but we also need to retain more nurses. The number of registered nurses in Australia is increasing every year, even during the pandemic. Unions say there's still a serious shortage. The number of um, vacant positions has being advertised currently has doubled since this time last year. You know, there's at least 8,000 of those across the country, but we know that that's probably an underestimate. The most recent national modelling in 2014 predicted a shortfall of 85,000 nurses by 2025. There has been absolutely no reasonable workforce planning, particularly not at a national level. One solution is to make it easier for nurses to come from overseas. But plenty of other countries are also facing dire shortages. Individual states could offer relocation packages or bonuses for nurses to return to the industry or work more shifts. We need to also look at how we can make sure that incentives are sort of equal across the country. And then we look at long-term measures to look at proper recruitment and retention. Limiting the spread of COVID and boosting primary health care will also take pressure off hospitals. But unions warn things will get worse. We need to be shown that we are respected um, by giving us enough money to be able to stay in the industry. Lucy MacDonald, ABC News.